Hey guys, I'm Harshad. Uh, I'll be presenting the dot CI which we built uh, based upon Tectone pipelines and OpenShift pipelines. Uh, we ha I had demoed this last uh, demo session. I'll be demoing the new features which we added. We added a couple of new features. Uh, as you can see, once you raise a pull request, the dot CI tries to assess based upon the pull request. So we can see we have added two features. One is to retest all the checks which we have already ran on the pull request. Uh, with slash retest, you can rerun them. With slash deploy, you can run a image build on this particular PR, and that PR will go to Quay. From Quay, the uh, once it goes to Quay, dot CI will create a commit into the dot CD. That's a continuous deployment. Uh, which is handled by Argo CD, and from there we can put it into test. Why? Uh, so let's just start this pipeline again. So you write deploy and commit that. Uh, let's check if the pipeline has started. There should be a pipeline starting. Uh, while this is running, let me show you. Can you share your screen? Sure. Uh... If you're showing something, because you cannot see. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, can you see my screen now, guys? Yes. Okay. So I was showing based on uh, the pull request. So you raise a pull request. The Shasheta, our dot CI bot will show you what features we can present. There is retest and redeploy, as I said. I try to run the redeploy command, command again. So it checks for the first uh, the authorization. E either you should be an owner or a member. So just to show you that we check the authorization, I put this here. It checks and it will let you know. So that this is a prevention from any other user who is not a part of our dot organization to make this uh, deploy. Once you do this, it will start a pipeline here. Based on this pipeline, uh, there is first init job and then uh, there is this check. This check is called deploy commit check. If checking, if you have asked for deployment, based on that check, there would be a task running to release this into a uh, release this to Quay. Uh, as you can see, it's just started. Uh, so it will do basic checks, generate and build now. So if you can see, it's building the image. Once this builds the image, it will push to Quay. Uh, let's just wait for that. Uh, while that, let me explain why we created this uh, feature. Uh, this feature was created so that as a developer, I personally don't have to go into the DevOps work, work of going to the uh, to the cluster, to building an image there, and then running my uh, running my job or uh, or a deployment. Uh, what I want to provide is my dot CI should do. It's just if I'm building something new and I want to test it out in my test environment, I just do a deploy as a developer. It it creates everything for me into the stage, into the test environment, and I can see the results. So I'm so what we are trying to reduce is the DevOps work from a developer. So a developer should just uh, can concentrate on more uh, de uh, developing more better uh, source code. Uh, so let's just see. It's trying to push to Quay. Uh, and it has completely pushed. And right, let's check the query. So you see, there's a source of repository. This pull request was 2.10. Uh, so in query, there should be a 2.10 tag. So here is the image, uh, and it's being scanned. So from here, once it's scanned, we'll uh, refer this pull request num number uh, in the Argo CD, and Argo CD will deploy it for us. Um, Apart from this, uh, as I, uh, I must have missed show this before, but you can click on these details and these will take you to the Tecton pipeline. Uh, we, uh, this is still a work in progress. We need to map it to the correct pipelines, but mostly it's the first or second one. So you can click on that and you can see what's up, which pipeline ran it ran for you. Um, so uh, that's what I had for today. And if you have any questions, let me know. I, or and also, if you have any feature request or any feedback, you can refer to our dot CI uh, repository and dot station, and you can create your feature request on that, and we'll try to make them possible. Yeah, thank you guys. If you have any question, then proceed.
No questions? Yeah, that's it from my side. Thanks for the time.